Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was sponsored by Patreon supporter Brett. Brett asked for a deck built for a friend of his, Aubrey. Aubrey, this video is a Christmas gift from your girlfriend, Evelyn. So Merry Christmas from Evelyn. I've been informed that Aubrey is new to magic, a fan of fairies, and also a huge fan of Disney. Brett wanted a Disney-themed deck, but I felt that was too broad. Should we go with a Lion King theme? What about Cinderella? Maybe we could transform into a dragon, like Maleficent. I mean, we could go Pirate Tribal and base the deck around Peter Pan or Treasure Planet. Maybe an artifact deck like Pinocchio or Toy Story. As you can see, there are no shortage of possibilities, and it could be stressful trying to pick just one. But Aubrey also loves fairies, so that's what we decided to go with. Plus a smattering of references to various Disney movies. But before we get started, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and it's free. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Alayla Artful Provocateur is a 4-mana 2-3 legendary fairy warlock with flying, death touch, and lifelink. She gives other creatures we control plus 1 plus 0 so long as they have flying. Additionally, whenever we cast an artifact or enchantment spell, we create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. Of course we're building a Christmas deck without any red or green. Alayla is what's known as an army in the can commander. So long as she's on board, we can build up a massive army of flying creatures and beat our opponents down. Now, my pink-haired gender-neutral child has an Alayla deck that is almost entirely made of anthems and stacks pieces. I wanted to build something similar here, but this deck is for a new player, someone who's just getting into magic. So I wanted to keep things simple for Aubrey. I also wanted to include as many Disney references as possible, including the evil ones. So this will be a fairy tribal list. Now, Brett didn't want a budget for this deck, but I decided to exclude three things from the deck. Counter magic, generic tutors, and abilities that trigger when our opponents do something. Remembering all of your triggers is difficult for new players. Yes, I highly recommend adding Smothering Tithe and Rhystic Study after Aubrey has a better understanding of her deck. Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, and Enlightened Tutor are also wonderful and powerful magic cards that would increase the power of the deck. But until she knows what to tutor for in a given situation, they would just stress her out. Same thing for counter magic. Knowing what spells to counter and when to hold off is something that experienced players learn over time. Eventually, I highly recommend adding Negate, Counterspell, and Dovin's Veto to the list. But before we get to what cards I did include, we should keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Arcane Sanctum, Rafine's Tower, Hallowed Fountain, Watery Grave, Godless Shrine, Sea of Clouds, Morphic Pool, Vault of Champions, Deserted Beach, Shipwreck Marsh, Shattered Sanctum, Glacial Fortress, Drowned Catacomb, Isolated Chapel, Reliquary Tower, Bajuka Bog, Six Plains, Nine Islands, and Four Swamps. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Progress, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Hierarchy, Azorius Signet, Demir Signet, Orzhov Signet, Chromatic Lantern, and Decanter of Endless Water make up our mana rocks. Wayfarer's Bobble, and Solemn Simulacrum to fetch extra lands, and our Disney-themed ramp is Burnished Heart. Fairy Seer, Night Veil Sprite, Fairy Formation, Fairy Harbringer, and Una's Prowler make up our on-theme card advantage. Remember, your opponents having fewer cards than you is a form of card advantage. But we've also got Combat Research, Winged Words, Biden of Thassa, Reconnaissance Mission, Coastal Piracy, Kindred Discovery, 
and dire undercurrents. Solar Rift Temptation, Spell Stutter Sprite. Okay, I lied. We have one counter spell, but most of our interaction is enchantments. We've got Authority of the Consoles, Blind Obedience, Ghostly Prison, Propaganda, Imprisoned in the Moon, Frogify, and Darksteel Mutation. We're also running Disenchant and Commit Memory. Cyclonic Rift, Crippling Fear, and Farewell. No matter how your heart is breathing, Make up our board wipes. Favorable Winds, Ethereal Absolution, Etchings of the Chosen, Glorious Anthem, Haunted One, Radiant Destiny, Rally the Ranks, Marshall's Anthem, In the Trenches, and Intangible Virtue all increase the size of our fairy armada. But it wouldn't be a Disney movie without a lovable animal companion, so we've got Imperial Eagle as well. We've also got Acroma's Will as a Sudden Night Wind card, as well as Anointed Procession and Coat of Arms. No, no, not the ugly one, the pretty one from 7th edition. Yes, that one. Bitter Blossom makes us more fairies. Wrinkle Master of Pranks. Puppeteer Click. And Fairy Vandal for fun. Scion of Una. Glenelendra Liege. And Sprite Noble to further pump our creatures. And finally, all the glitters to turn our commander into a one-hit kill threat. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp right on target. 12 pieces of card advantage, 11 pieces of interaction, 3 board wipes, 3 pieces of graveyard hate, 3 sudden eye win cards in a chroma's will, coat of arms, and all the glitters. I know that all the glitters won't win us the game by itself, but with this deck, if Aubrey cast it on her commander at the right time, she should probably end someone. Now, I could have included more Disney references, but I wanted the deck to be a bit more functional than just a meme. We could reference Aladdin with Aladdin's Lamp, or Hunchback with Temple Bell, or maybe even added some dinosaurs to reference the good dinosaur. But I felt sticking to fairies and adding a few spicy references here and there was the way to go. Do you have a themed deck? Or one built around your favorite movie? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons, Jiraiya, Muffins, Casey, Nick, Marcus, Black Dragon, Phoenix Device, Squishy, RGC, and Brett. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos often, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're a fan of anime and manga like I am, feel free to check out my other channel, Musings by Danon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.